care of and look after. And yeah, look and up I remember when I finally like, became a freshman, and you were like, "Oh my god!" And oh, we yeah. were in the we were in the she was a senior when I was a freshman, so we were in the same school for a year. It was fun. It was like because so everybody. I drove her to school, and I remember like, and I went to all y'all stuff too. Mm-hmm. And then I started doing it even more once you went to college because like whenever, like everybody would come home, I'd know everyone. It was just. Yeah. Yeah, my, my, Olivia and I have a very, like, good thing going on here. Like, my yeah. high school friends love her, and she's just a dope person. Like, she's not, she's, like, younger, but she's very mature for her age. Like, I get along Yeah, I like well. hanging out with older people, honestly, way more. I, I was always like that, too, when I was young. But I can't, I don't mind people that are younger than me, but they're, I don't like immature people, and there's nothing against people that are immature, but... I don't it just pers- works out when it, we are right. like, the way we and are. And Olivia we just together. so happens to just be like a really like chill, go with the flow, down to earth person, and so I got lucky because it Me would too. suck if I still hated you. Yeah, it fucking would. What would we be doing? My life would be so different. It really would. My life would be different. Anyways, let's stop being simp's for each other. Yeah, fuck you. Like ew. You're ugly. <laughs> <laughs> oh god wait for the edits out oh god i'm gonna freak out there. move to la um, listen <laughs> no i was just saying i don't know if i would ever do that actually i want to live like on the beach or like in the city but la is a lot i like la when i visited there but i can't i don't know if i you know what i mean like living I, there is just kind of like eh. i think i would have i think i would like have anxiety there. I I've never been to LA, but from what I've heard, you can imagine. Yeah, I mean LA is dope. Like I love the people there that I've met, but I haven't really like it just been feels there like for a long. Facade. I haven't been there for long. It feels like it feels like a dream, honestly. a bubble, and, it, it, and and I don't think it's like that. No, it no no no. Like when I went there and visited, it literally was like, I was like, whoa, like this is crazy. Like I was having the craziest like, experience, but. If I lived there, I feel like it would just be It's just weird. draining mentally. You yeah. just have to... I feel like you have to have this, like, face. And I'm a very, like, real person. I don't like to act like a way that I'm not. And I feel like if I went to L.A., like... Yeah, I agree. It's just... And I, like, I know, like, people have talked about it. Like, famous people have said it's it's draining mentally. Mm-hmm. And but I already like, have mental health problems, Yeah. So. It's honestly, like, very good for connections and, like, people and, like, business and stuff like that. So, like, that'd be the only reason I would go there. But, um, I'd rather just, like, yeah, you can lose yourself easily in L.A. That's what I've heard. And like, I don't I ever want to lose do myself. That. And I don't want her to lose herself either. Yeah. She has, and she's done such a good job. Like, Olivia's a beautiful, talented, amazing person, but she's also very humble. And that's something that, uh, you know, I really respect about her because people, when they get, like, this platform it goes it to gets their head, to the head yeah and she's never let that and I've always reminded her to like be gr- be grateful for what you have but never forget where you came from and never forget who you are and she's no, yeah, doing a good job yeah I want to like I don't know I want to go somewhere with like either a beach or like the city San I Diego I would I would go to San Diego though for sure San Diego's f- dope and like that's not LA like I would definitely move to California 100% California is awesome, but, like, L.A. is just, like, the middle of everything. What did I just say? Okay, do you want to get off? No. Okay. I'm having fun. I mean, me too, but... Stay in Georgia for now. I am. (laughs) I mean, there's no reason for me to go anywhere right now. Before you know we lose our attention spans y'all ask us like some questions that would be entertaining that that has does not pertain to like olivia's personal shit she has going on right now please stop asking anything that she does not want to answer if she hasn't answered it then she's not going to answer it so mm-hmm. if you guys have any like funny questions or like you know something that you have normal you. ghost experiences that's a good question oh dude i um i actually when i was little um, I lived in Buckhead when my parents were still married, not Lori and my dad, but, um, my biological mother and my dad were married. Um, I had, like, a really weird experience. Um, Have you told me about this? Yeah. Okay. I don't know. But why. I haven't talked about it in a while. But 
basically we had like cleaners that would come and clean our house. We lived in a very nice house in Buckhead and he was a cleaner like to clean like nice houses on the weekdays, but he was a priest like for a Catholic church, like a big Catholic church in Buckhead. And he would do like cleanses of houses and stuff for extra money. And he like pulled my dad to the side one day and said like, look, man, like there's a lot of negative energy in this house. Like you need um, to, you need to yeah. put olive oil on your children's hands and feet and put a cross over um, your kids' beds because um, this entity is like here to like consume your family and ruin your family. And it did. Um, I remember stories of like, you know, I had a really big downstairs basement with a playroom. And I remember like going downstairs one time and this was like a very deep memory that I like brought up when I was talking about this with my dad like years later. And I remember going downstairs to go get a Barbie, like one of my toys to um, bring upstairs. And I just remember like feeling something screaming in my ear and then I passed out. And, I um, did. You never told me this. Yes, I fucking Dude, I have. do not remember this at all. I've told you this many times. I don't remember this. Like, I don't know. Well, I definitely don't like talking about it. But, yeah, I've experienced some really scary shit. I did at my old house, but it was just like... Oh, yeah, you had some weird... Dude, it was... And I I noticed it, too. No, at the old... Okay, so I used to live in a condo with just my mom whenever, like, my parents got divorced, and then I was just there until we met them. And they were, like... The weirdest thing to me, I think, was that there were, like, mysterious fires... Like, every Dude, every yeah. few months, there would be one. And, like, it would burn down a whole, like, building of the condo. And yeah. it was just, like, freaky. And then, um, like, you know the thing with my mom and, like, the black, like, figure? So, um... Dude, they were just My fucking... stepmom, Lori, had sleep process, and I've had it before. But it would happen, like, every night where mm-hmm. there would be this, like, she would see this black blob over her, and she was, like, pinned down and couldn't move. Yeah, it's and she didn't scary. tell. So she didn't tell my dad about it. And my dad came to her one day and, he and said, said he it. had a really bad dream that this black thing was pinning him down. And he couldn't move, and she literally was like, "You're fucking kidding me, dude!" I didn't yeah, tell you because I didn't want to scare you, but like there yeah. was some fucked up shit, dude. Going but on. yeah, I would always like be scared to even sleep in my room, so I went and slept in my mom my mom's room every night whenever Grant wasn't there or like even before they were together and it was fucking i just knew something like i was so young but i knew something was up and there was this like upstairs room and i would never go up there alone oh my god ew remember the guest like the living room when we pulled it onto the couch i would sleep out there i never looked up into the the hole the hole i was too scared to look in there was there was a hole that was like a square that went up to the upstairs i just felt something negative about it oh it was bad i couldn't look up there but if you have sleep paralysis because i've had it before um i'm very spiritual now um Invest in like some sage, incense, crystals, yeah, all that for real. shit. Yeah, like, Because if you have that it'll, and you do that, like it'll and you'll open feel your so windows, much better. you feel better. And as long as you um, protect yourself and your family, everyone's like, like, okay, guys, stop it. I'm getting scared. I know it is scary, but <laughs> yeah, but yeah just do that and like sage your house and just like you know bless your house. And okay, we're done talking about. Yeah, that. we are. We are. But somebody said funniest junk story. Oh, wait, how did I... Someone said, how did you come out to Sky? How did I come out to you? I don't remember. Wait, what was that? I don't know either. I can't really remember. I think one day you just said you were gay, and I was like, I mean, I knew that. But I think we've gone over I think it life. honestly, like, I. that's how I really said it to everybody. I wasn't, like, scared, honestly. I was like, I, just I was definitely like, knew that. I just, like, I just kind of was like, yeah, I'm a... Yeah, I kind of like... Girls. Have you took acid before? Uh, yeah, I have one time. It was fun, but, uh, with my anxiety, it I just doesn't work I will never do that me, shit. So. Never. I don't recommend doing psychedelics unless you're in a good mindset and you know who you're getting it from and you're with the right people. Dude, I, Seriously. Yeah, I it, it can be a good it. experience if you do it the right way, but I don't condone drug use, and if you do, you need to do it safely. Dude, I can't. <laughs> I can never do that. No, like, I, I can't even imagine myself doing anything like that. Why did someone gur at me? I don't know. <laughs> TikTok video. That wasn't me falling. That was my um, friend Brooke. People say that we look the same. 
You guys do look alike. But we're not. That's that's my friend falling. That's not me falling. Okay, how do I get off? You want to get off? Yeah, because I want to um, go on my phone. <laughs> okay. But I love you guys. We'll come back on here. We always... AG, I miss you. Okay, yeah, but... um.